Welcome back to our minute-to-minute -minute analysis of Matrix Revolutions. We have arrived at our final video of the series, where we analyzed the Matrix trilogy. Today we will be analyzing the final moments of this classic trilogy. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Last time, we explained why Smith feared Neo, how the Oracle made her master plan to use Smith's ego against him. Deus Ex Machina eventually erased Smith from the Matrix after he assimilated Neo, who was directly plugged into the source. While Smith is being deleted from the simulation, in the real world, Neo begins to shoot out white light from his body. The same thing is happening to him inside the Matrix. Some people claim that this is more evidence that the real world is not real. Although, this is rather a literal visualization that Ex Machina is using Neo's body against Smith. All the Smiths are being destroyed. The camera uses an aerial shot of Mega City, and we see that there are thousands of bodies glowing at the same time. Smith has possibly infected every human connected to the simulation. The Matrix had been infected in its entirety and only Neo stood between Smith and the real world. With the help of the God of Machines, Neo functioned as an antivirus that deleted Smith. Once it was over, Neo dropped, and his arms spread open making a cross. Neo sacrificed himself for humanity and machines. This shot is a visual reference to the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Like Neo, he sacrificed himself for humanity. It is done. This line has three possible meanings. The first is that Deus Ex Machina knew what was going to happen. By saying that it is done, it is the machine simply being pleased that the plan worked as expected. The second is that it is referring to the truce. As the Neo fulfilled his part of the deal, so shall the machine. The truce is formed. And the third is a Christian meaning. During his crucifixion, Jesus said seven important words that are recited during Easter. The sixth word was John 19.30. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. It is finished, or done, meaning that Jesus Christ knew that his sacrifice had been completed, that his mission on earth has ended and he will ascend to heaven. He had accomplished his purpose. In Neo's case, these same archetypes of the Savior are repeated, but instead of Neo saying the words, it is Deus Ex Machina who says them. It seems that the machine is now on the side of the Savior. The religious allegories are continuous in the trilogy, and we will continue to see them in Matrix Resurrections. The Oracle is lying on the ground unconscious inside the crater. The smith who fought against Neo in the climactic battle was the one who had possessed the Oracle. That is why he was so powerful. The Sentinels leave Zion as Locke says that nothing makes sense. That's because Locke does not believe that Neo could achieve anything. The Sentinels could have easily finished them off, but they are leaving instead. But some of the others know what this means. He saved us. He saved us. No more, get it! In this scene, Kid is like Neo's disciple, spreading the good word to Zion and assuring them that the war was over. They don't know what happened to Neo. They only know that the machines have left the city and that the only explanation is that somehow Neo saved them. Imagine this moment. So long. Morpheus has fought most of his life trying to stop the war, searching for the One. Then his dreams were destroyed when Neo told them that the prophecy of the One was another system of control. He lost hope, but still had a little bit of faith in Neo and hoped that he could save them. Morpheus' dream finally came true, and he cannot believe it. Morpheus recently became a skeptic. He was a leader of the Red Pills. He knew how to distinguish between reality and fantasy, but he was deconstructed in Matrix Reloaded and lost the ability to know what is real. At the crucial moment when he should be the happiest, Morpheus is questioning if what he has seen is real because deep down inside, he feels that this could be another trap. Although he seems somewhat happy, he also looks a bit worried. Thank you. This part is very interesting because Morpheus is doubting and Niobe is thanking, thanking Neo as if he was a deity. 
the characters' roles have been reversed. Niobe is a believer, and Morpheus is the skeptic. The machines are carrying the body of the Savior away, while again we see the golden light that could symbolize the source, the machine's consciousness, or it could represent the afterlife. Back inside the Matrix, the deja vu cat makes an appearance. The feline appears when something is changing inside the simulation. Then Sati also awakens, as she too was assimilated by Smith. We've come to the final scene. You played a very dangerous game. We have discussed this dangerous game in previous videos. The Oracle, allowing herself to be assimilated by Smith, to force a change in the equation, and for Deus Ex Machina to agree to a truce. Change always is. Just how long do you think this peace is going to last? The Architect knows that peace won't last, but perhaps it is just part of the Oracle's plan. Maybe she knows that peace will not last either. So when Sati asks her if they will see Neo again, the Oracle answers yes. Will we ever see him again? I suspect so. Someday. Now an important element that could influence the next movie is that the Oracle asks Sati if she created the sunrise. Just look at that. Beautiful. Did you do that? For now. This shows that Sati has great power or privileges in the Matrix. And perhaps this explains why the Oracle sacrificed herself for the girl. The Oracle's plan involves Sati. Did you always know? Oh no. No, I didn't. But I believed. The final dialogue of the trilogy. This scene is important because the Oracle did not act as a machine. She is not using cause and effect or correcting the equation in her programming to determine the future. She had faith in a human. She wished for a happy ending for man and machine, but there were too many variables. Anything could have gone wrong, yet she still had faith in Neo. The kind of faith that a human gives a deity or a beloved and trusted person. The film concludes with a shot of the sunrise that Sati created for Neo. The Matrix lost its sick greenish color. Sati has helped change the simulation. Matrix Revolutions has ended the most controversial film of the trilogy. The movie touches on very important issues about spirituality, purpose, destiny. Can coexistence be achieved through chaos? The Oracle shines as a strategist. Neo became the one, not because someone told him that he was the one, but because he chose to be the one. The film took big risks with its complex story and multiple philosophical ideas. Far too complex to comprehend in a single viewing. This is why most people left the movie theaters displeased. Matrix Revolutions is incredibly deep, perhaps the deepest and most mysterious of the three movies, as it tried to build from what was deconstructed in Matrix Reloaded. If you liked this series of videos, do not worry, as we will soon be analyzing each episode of the Animatrix, and of course, Matrix Resurrections. But do you agree? Has our series of videos changed your mind about The Matrix and its sequels? Tired of your cookies not coming out as you want them to? That they don't taste like how your mother used to make them in her kitchen when you were a kid? Well, we have the solution for you. Introducing Oracle's Cookies. Made only with the best ingredients and benevolent intentions. Oracle's Cookies will make you feel like you're the only one who can save the world. So don't delay. Pick up the phone and order now. There is absolutely positively nothing suspicious about Oracle's cookies. If you can't trust this face, who can you trust? Take a cookie. I promise by the time you're done eating it, you'll feel right as rain.
For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.